Yeah, so we had our physicals. Um, you know, I'd, we get sunburned and stuff like that, but I always have shirts on, you know, kind of thing. But, you know, you got your freckles, so I'd pass it. I was like, hey, can you just take a peek? Um, this is Dr. Goldstein, who I guess the Royals have worked with for a long time. Um, and he said, you know, I don't love that one. Um, so went and got the, I guess it was biopsy, but it's basically they took out majority, I think, of the issue the first first try. Um, you know, found out within a couple of days that, you know, it's melanoma. Um, and then that was Monday, a week ago. Uh, called him, you know, agent, you know, wife, first call. Obviously that was, you know, not the, the funnest one, but, uh, you know, kind of got my ducks in a row and I was like, you know, do we have to do this now? Do we wait? And, you know, he basically said it's a 99% chance that you're good, but there's 1%. So, uh, literally next day, 11 o'clock I was in and Dr. Carol Chin did the procedure. Um, she was great and, you know, 40 stitches right here, basically the length of my trap right here. Um, you know, they went in, got everything out, everything came back from that negative. So, you know, we're, we're basically, we're in the clear other than stitches healing at this point. Um, you know, now it's a little more me being on top of it, you know, checking myself probably a little more than I would have, uh, you know, and who knows, you know, now somebody else might, you know, they might go get checked when they wouldn't have, which, you know, that could be in my case, it's great. You know, like I asked Doc, I was like, hey, could we wait six months maybe till the season's over? Mm -hmm. And he said, you could, is it worth it? No. Um, and so that was kind of the decision I had to make, you know, it was week one of camp, week two, you know, I, I pitched the day. So that Monday I found out I pitched cause I like, well, I'm gonna be on the shelf for a minute. So, um, you know, might as well go do what I'm here to do. And, uh, yeah, now we're here and looking to play catch today and, you know, hopefully, you know, that goes smooth. We can get back into some games quick here. Is this, go ahead. I was just going to ask to clarify the, so this was like pitchers and catchers report day when you were getting your physical. Yeah, that first week, well, yeah, I, whatever that date was, we were here for a couple days and we went across the way there to get our physicals and, um, you know, like I said, Dr. Goldstein, he's, I guess, pretty well known mm -hmm. um, in his field and, you know, I just said, hey, Doc, could you check these out kind of thing? Like, didn't think much of it and he just was like, I don't like that. Um, you know, and here we are, which, you know, I'm incredibly grateful for, you know, it's, uh, like I said, when I asked about waiting, he's like, six months is, you know, like we can't make any promises kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm grateful. You said didn't think much of it. I, I wonder, in a broader sense, like, did it, is this ever even on your radar screen, like, to think about <clears throat> such a thing? Yeah, my, only because um, both my parents had, had cancer. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, particularly my dad had melanoma. So, I've uh, somewhat aware, but you know, nothing. There was nothing physical. It was just a spot. Um, so yeah. So it's. Uh, I try to avoid this part, but yeah. So it was one where, you know, it was just a simple like. It looked a little different than the rest at one point, so I was like, you know what? Let's see what he says. Um, like I said, now we're here, so um, you know, grateful. I think is the best word. Yeah. You know. are, are you comfortable speaking about your parents? Or yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just you know, it's a nerve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, they both. My mom had breast cancer, passed away in twelve, and then um, my dad passed away in twenty one. So, so yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but it's you know, hopefully, like I said, hopefully somebody can get some positive. Somebody else in the same boat. You know, we're in the sun a lot. We're outside always, um, often not even thinking about it. You know, sitting in a bullpen. You know, and and used to be in KC, you're staring at the sun for you know eight hours you know it's a it's a long day out there but you know it, and it it's it takes nothing to get checked I guess that's the biggest thing I've taken from it it's it's no effort you know other than showing up um, you know and, and luckily I did it and here we are and I've been looked at in the past and there's no issues so it's you know like I said we caught it very early which is the best blessing of it all um, you know and 
I'm able to play baseball hopefully in a week or two. You know, um, you know, be full full steam and, and back out there. But you know, it's it's been a weird week, a lot of <laughs> emotions. Um, but yeah, so it's you know I think we're in a good place and um, you know everybody here's taking great care of me too. You know, the whole front office, um, coaches, everybody was you know whatever you need, go home, do this, do that. I was like, you know, I'm not going to go home. Um, this is where I want to be. So, uh, you know, I'm excited. Get out today and play some catch. When were you, when you called your wife, obviously mm -hmm. that was very difficult, but also you had the, I assume the relief of being able to call her. Um, yes, yeah, day. so she was, they were going to leave. They were going home, and then they actually, uh, they stayed, you know, because it's like she was going to go home and worry, so it's like might as well be here. So we were all together. Um and they left Sunday, so um, you got to go home. My, all this, he got to go back to school, you know, all that good stuff. So um, everything is right to this point, other than it you know, feels like somebody's kind of holding me where my stitches are. But, uh, you know, that's part of it. So it's uh, now I've got the itch to get back out there. You know, I went and just sat in the bullpen for the game last night. It's like I'm here to do baseball. You know, it's, it's what I love. It's, uh, you know, it's what I want to do. So... You know, it's it's time to get back out and start doing everything that we came here to do versus worrying about this crap. So. I know that uh, with a lot of teams, the teammates are family. So how much support did, was it? It's uh, some guys, you know, I've, I don't know, I'm pretty reserved because I get like this <laughs> at times. So I'm more, you know, I'm just chirping people. But, uh, you know, guys have asked and I've told them. And, you know, it's one that's it's eye-opening because you don't think about it, you know. And here we are, you know, I'm 33, getting stuff cut out of my neck. So, um, you know, and then there's, you know, then staff, you know, so many guys have had it. We're, like I said, we're in the sun. A lot of coaches have had stuff done, um, you know, whether it's a face, an ear, or whatever it is. And so, um, you know, it's very fortunate to have, you know, the people that I had. Dr. I, I keep saying Dr. Goldstein, he, you know, is what he is for a reason. You know, he, he spotted it right away, didn't even hesitate. He's like, not good. Yeah. Um, you know, without him doing that, you know, who knows where we are in six months. Um, which, you know, so, um, but yeah, it's, you know, like I said, I, I couldn't have been in a better place. Um, you know, they, they took great care of me as quick as, you know, as painless as it could be. Um, you know, and hopefully, I think I'm supposed to get stitches out, I think, like the end of this week, um, beginning of next week, and I think that's the the last official like clear kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. and the good thing is it's not my body. So it's you know otherwise I'm I'm great. I just they told me I couldn't get my heart rate up for a few days. You know because there's this hole back here. <laughs> but uh, you know but other than that it's uh, you know now now that this is over with if you know especially this will be the, the toughest part. <laughs> but um, you know it, it's yeah like I said it's it's time to get back to doing what I'm here for and enjoying it and I'll have the conversation with people I already have you know friends have texted me from you know it's like hey you haven't pitched you know what's going on and so I've I, I've warned some people I'm instead of just firing off a picture of my scar yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> hey fair warning but here it comes yeah. um, so I've done that to a few people but uh, you know it's it is what it is and so now hopefully you know if, if somebody sees something weird or their wife sees something weird it's like hey just ask the team doctor you know it's like, mm -hmm. it's the easiest thing you can do you don't have to go anywhere um you know and and like i said hopefully this is the last of it and you know just make sure and do everything i can to prevent more and um yeah it's you know i'm just i'm i'm grateful i can't say it enough i'm mean, just blessed to be here with the people that were here to, to spot it and get it taken care of when did you um, first notice it? Like, and what did you uh, think? You know, it's like one uh, sunburns growing up. You know, you get the little freckles and this and that. And it was one that I think it had changed a little bit. Maybe you know, it was just in my field division kind of thing. You know, you're in the, after a shower, like you see in the mirror. Um, and my wife had mentioned something about it too, and I was like, well, you know, just I kind of joking. I was like, well, just make me an appointment. I'll go. You know, and it dawned on me while we were getting our physicals and you know I thought to ask and um, you know like I said I didn't never feel anything notice anything it was just as simple as it was a freckle that changed I guess would be the easiest way to put it and um, you know I guess when you're somewhat predisposed you know things can happen like that and um, you know it's it's one uh, it, 
never really thought twice about it, and now, you know, it's just take a little extra 30 seconds to, you know, oh, okay, just check yourself out, you know. I mean, that's, and that's all I'm going to have to do now, and go get checkups every couple months, I guess, what they said for the next five years, so. Do you, is, is it possible to describe the, the, the feeling you got when you were told the, the it's, melanoma? Yeah, it's not a, yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> um, because you don't know what that entails per se, you know, it, it's because all it was at the beginning was as simple as, yeah, it's there. Well, you don't know what, like where, it fits anywhere else, just one spot, you know, it's just shallow. And that was, I was fortunate it was really shallow. I caught it pretty early. Um, I think I mentioned earlier, like it, the odds were talking to the doctors that we got it the first try. But to be certain, we had to do the second part and, um, you know, it's, yeah, like I said, it, there was no sign of anything. It was just a spot, you know. And that's what they mentioned is like on men, particularly, it's always, you know, a spot back here that you don't see it because you're looking this way, you know. And so, um, you know, it, it, like, I can't say no, just fortunate. Um, you know, had it gone a year, maybe missing a lot more than a piece of skin, you know. So it's uh, pretty crazy. And uh, this may be too delicate, and so just yeah. shut it down. But You'll I, know. But, but, I, <laughs> but, I, but obviously you love your parents very much, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'd assume that they're a big part of you being here today. And, and oh, yeah. As a baseball player, I wonder if you might like to speak about yeah. who they were to you. Yeah. Um. I could see the picture. Like at Stanford when I was at Rice, my mom had finished treatment. Things like that, you know, it's more little spots. My dad, I mean, was there for everything. Y'all can go look up my call up story. <laughs> but yeah. So that's what the. I have a, the best support system. I, uh, in-laws and my wife are special. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be here without my parents, but without them. Um, I think it's the simplest way to put it. Because when I start talking, it won't work. <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, you know, they've done, my parents are with me everywhere. My brother and I were you know, we're in a, a unique group, and um, I'm not going to say we're better for it, but, you know, we've seen some things that will change you. And, uh, you know, it, it's just all about perspective, ultimately. You know, it's just be happy for people. Be happy, and, you know, you got to deal with what comes. You don't really get a choice. You can't pick your hand. You know, the, the saying, we make plans and God laughs, you know, it's, uh, it's real. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but it, like I said, I, you know, I've, I'm, I'm in a great spot after this. I'm such an out of sight, out of mind guy. I'll be, I'll be fine, you know, um, go play baseball. You know, that's, that's what I love doing. And if I didn't do that, that's, that's who would be upset with me. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, you're here, quit crying, let's go. <laughs> but it's all part of your gratitude being here it sounds like like in your oh my your goodness service. yeah it, it's uh yeah there's we could go in depth about that there's my dad he's in baseball especially in you know, my high school and stuff he worked with a lot of people and um you know it's it's nice knowing that he left the mark he did on so many just in baseball and pitching he's the reason I pitch you know it's uh you know, it's, it was, he was, it was tough. You know, my mom, it was 12 years ago now, in April. It'll be 12 years since she passed away. So it's, um, you know, it's a lot. It comes in waves, you know, but it, it's, uh, you know, you do stuff like this. You, know, you start to think about things a little bit, but, um, you know, it's good to let it out every now and then. And, you know, you can't forget about it, but you just try not to, you think about the happy parts the most.
mind sharing their, their names? So. Um, it's Tim and Shauna. S H A N N A. Do you F F E Y? S H A N N A? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And, um, your, your brother's name? Uh, Travis. Travis. Yeah. Is he older? Uh, younger. Okay. He's a younger brother, and yeah, we've, uh, yeah. We've been through it, but you know it's. Um, obviously, I can smile about it. You know, it's it's it is what it is. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a weird one. You know, it's something I'm gonna have to live with forever. Um, just stuff like this, I guess. So, you know, hopefully, my grandmother's 101 though. So it's like I got some I got some spectrum to work with. So it's like let's you know I'm trying to err on one versus the other, but um, she just turned 101 in February. So it was uh, you know. And it's one that's like, what did, like what'd you do? What's the trick? And she, <laughs> and she's like, oh, I don't know. You know she loves saying? lemon and you know eats nuts. You know, it's like I don't know. <laughs> she's yeah, she, yeah. It's it's incredible. You know, I, I say that and they laugh and I'm like, yeah, I don't. You know, she's you can't sneak anything by her either. That's the worst part. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Jean. J. Uh, J E A N N E. Is your mom's uh, uh, dad. Mom, dad, dad? Yeah. I meant, to, I meant to ask you, um, what's the name, Dr. Goldstein, Goldstein first was name? the, uh, I don't know his first name, I'm sure. It's Sam. I think it's Jeffrey. Jeff. Oh, yeah, that's he's awesome. local, and then Carol, what's her name? Chen. Carol Chen, Carol Chen. hyphen. It's last name. That's not her full name. Um, sounds like you already have a ton of perspective, but just these last couple of weeks, you talk about your love of the game and going out and playing. Yeah. How much did that grow over the last couple of weeks? Yeah. Like I said, I went and sat in the bullpen last night. You know, it's, uh, especially, I mean, you guys have been heard to tell you the same thing. It's just you, you show up to the field knowing that you're not doing anything but whatever you can that day. Um, you know, and, and with me, it was like, Literally, don't don't walk too fast because your heart rate might get elevated, kind of thing, and you know, or, or move and pull something out of place. And so it's, uh, you know, I got the itch pretty quickly to <laughs> to get out of there. Um, you know, so like I said, it's been it's been great. I've been ramping up already within the week just to I don't know, stay as ready as I can. Um, you know, I, I have a tough time sitting around as it is, so. It's uh, yeah. You know, I went out and ran around yesterday, and you know everything's feeling good. So the limitations are basically, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Um, so hopefully, you know, play catch today. You know, see how that goes and how we recover, I guess. And then, you know, as long as training staff's good, with me going, I'm gonna go. So, um, you know, like I said, hopefully, by the end of, by the end of this week, we should have some real, you know, projection of everything. But. Um, like I said, today it's, I'm itching, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully today will tell us something, you know, we can really move forward with and, um, you know, just kind of leave this in the rear view and, and keep going. To your to your man plans, God laughs thing. Yeah. Um, I, I've heard that many times. It's pretty useful. Uh, but I, I, it, I'm thinking about it in the context of your off season, like what, what, oh, yeah. what you were what you thought you were working on. Oh, yeah, it felt great. You know, showed yeah. up ready to go, and then it's like, hey, you're going to get two weeks off where you can't do anything. Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, probably that was why we had the most conversation was, honestly, I was like, can I wait, like, a couple months, you know, like, <laughs> or until, like, May at least, you know, kind of get on a roster and, and be playing before this all happens. So, you know, but I've, I've always ramped up pretty quick. You know, I don't take much to get going. I've been doing this a while, and... Um, you know, hopefully that's the case this time again. And um, you know, like I said, try and get us some games at least a couple times before camp's over, and um, you know, leave a good impression on everybody, and um, you know, be of, be of use. Ultimately, it's a, nothing worse than just sitting and not being able to play. You know, it's um, watching games as a starter is great because you know you're pitching in a few days, but when you're just sitting there, it it's, it wears on you a little bit. You know, and I'm I did it for a week. You know, guys have to do it for 14 months off Tommy John. You know, it's uh, the waiting. The waiting is honestly the tougher part than anything else. It's, you know, we want to work, we want to do things, but it's when you can't contribute to your team that's the that's what gets you. Yep, yeah, left shoulder. Thanks for.